and good morning. How you doing? I guess it's not really morning. It's uh, it's about noon, and here we are. It's Wednesday for us up here in northern Michigan. I'm up in Traverse City. Uh, well, this is the third day of our. Well, it's the third day uh, since we've really had nowhere to go. So we thought we would. Um, I don't know, do something fun. I've got some great parts here. Uh, I know for a lot of you, this might be kind of basic, but we need to get our minds off of what's going on, especially if you're like me and you're losing your mind a little bit because I can't go outside. Well, I can go outside. I just, I can't go and play with other people. And so, well, here we go. Today, uh, we're going to build a speed bot. It can, it takes me about five minutes um, if I'm really moving, but I'll slow it down. So let's first walk through the parts. I'm going to pause here. You've got some Vex parts. you got nowhere to go because nobody's going to the world championship. That's kind of a bummer. I think a uh, whole group of teams up here in northern Michigan are bummed. Uh, but we gave ourselves that moment to uh, let that sink in. And I know I'm really excited about the new game. I don't know what it is. I know you don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Anyway, take a moment. We got some parts here. Um, you're not going to need very much. Of course, you got your brain. Um, two motors, speed bots, only two motors. Controller, two wheels, again, two motors. Um, there are eight, uh, eight two by eights. These are, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, you could use, if you wanted, um, six two by eights and uh, two two by tens. That'd be fine also. You're going to need six, uh, six standoffs. These are your two-pitch standoffs. Um, yeah, six of those. <clears throat> Court your battery. Now, you got two of each of the standoff connectors. So take a close look. Yeah, there's uh, two of them, two of each of those style right here. We're only using two corner connectors uh, today. Makes it pretty easy. We've got the, the one by two corner connectors. Um, and then, of course, we also have our L-bracket style corner connector. But we've got four of each of those, just uh, four four of those. Uh, two of your 200 millimeter. Now, it surprises me how many people still don't, don't get this. Um, a 200 millimeter has two bends, and each bend from here to there, right, that, that little section, that's, that's 100 millimeters. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Do a little math. So if it's gonna have, um, if it's gonna be a 300 millimeter cable, then it's gonna have three bends, or if you were to, again, fold it up in its original packaging, it'll have three, three sections. 200s have two, 400s would have four. Uh, so use the right length cable. I mean, I know that's that's absolutely not, not you know it's it's easy everybody who's a veteran knows that wire management cable management it's really important but back to what we're working on all right um first things first we are going oh where do i go there we go uh first things first um we're going to start with the motors and i'm going to take a pin and place it in each of the four corners on the motor now if you're not sure what that means you know one, two, three, four, the four corners. I'm going to uh, do this pretty quick. It's because I got all the parts laid out here. You'll notice some of my parts are maroon. That's okay. They're part of an older, older set for some of the folks that have been around for quite a while that, you know, you know that these things have definitely gone through some paces. So anyway, we got four pins in each section. Now as a placeholder, I'm going to put my axle in each. Now I got to take, this is where if you had the two by tens instead because you didn't have enough two by eights um, you'd use those here instead but either way the center hole which in this case it's going to be four and a half if it was your uh, two by ten it would be a five and a half but you're going to put that right through the axle and you just snap it down so uh, it looks kind of like that do that on both of them and then we're just going to keep on going at this point i'm going to grab a standoff and i'm going to put it in the one and a half and I'm going to put it in the seven and a half hole. Now, some of you are going, wait, one and a half, seven and a half. I don't get that. How does that work? And let me count it out for you. 
Here we go. Uh, put that back over there. All right. If you count out your holes along the top, you can count them out. One, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. But now those middle row of holes, those are actually half pitch holes. Again, it's one of those points that just, um, I don't know, somehow it gets missed when we dive right into competition. So this is kind of fun. So if I were to ask for this hole, two and a half, two and a half, well, you'd go count one, and you go to two, then you go to three, but well, two and a half has to be between two and three. So it's got to be that hole right there. Now that's not the hole we actually want. We want hole one and a half. Uh, so we're going to back that up one. That was hole one and a half. So it looks kind of like this. We're going to flip that back down to our table view. All right. So continuing back on with what we've got, uh, I'm not going to make a little shish kebab. I've got two different styles of, I've got my spacer and I've got my rubber shaft collar. Uh, my spacer is going to go on first. I'm going to put one of those on each of them. I have two of them. Then I'm going to drop a wheel onto there. This is a point when it, if you're working with some new kids, they're going to be tempted to push it, roll it. They're going to do all sorts of crazy things with it. And you know what's going to happen if you're a veteran. And you're going to tell them this. And they're not going to listen to you. And the wheels and the parts are all going to go rolling across the table, especially that little spacer. Anyway. Ah. And then, of course, the other thing we're always going to hear the kids doing is racing these things around and around. They're going to go crank on them. And, yeah, slow is okay, but I like to try to say, you know what, this is not um, a Tonka truck. It's not a Tonka truck. So don't treat it like a Tonka truck. While uh, these motors, let's talk about this. These motors can handle quite a bit of, uh, you know, 7 volts. I don't know. Let's see. What is this? battery say oh it just got dark oh there you go that's better ah these batteries say right on them really close uh, that's a 7.2 volt battery so it can you know these motors we, we they should be able to handle that much but if i really crank on this thing and get it going and you know i could probably generate upwards of 10 11 volts that might be enough to make me lose my mind Certainly enough to make the uh, little piece of firmware in here, this little memory chip in here that helps keep track of encoder, rotations, revolution, speed. Certainly enough to make that lose its mind. So uh, don't crank on the motors. All right, so where were we? Oh, yes, we're making a little shish kebab. Now we are going to go ahead and use these parts right here. The, not those. There's a difference. There's a difference. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, back to, okay. So anyway, that is going right on there, just like like that. So, okay, so those, you know, if, if you missed it, I, I took those and I put them on there. Now, if you really want to work on your friction, you would do this in reverse order, but now I'm taking my rubber shaft collars and I'm putting them on there and again, don't pick it up. You're going to be tempted to. You're going to be tempted to push it, but it's not going to stay put until, of course, you take your other two by eight and snap it on. Axle goes through the center hole. Just like that. Axle goes through the center hole. Just like that. And voila, we now have a right side and a left side. And eventually they're going to go all around anyway. Okay, you're not interested. That's fine. Lose my mind a little bit. I've been inside for too long, and while I love my children, I'm sure for those parents sitting out there, we love our teachers even more. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Continuing. Okay, now we got to build some front and back bumpers, so I'm going to take those and just set them aside. All right, this, this next little uh, fun part, I'm going to take another 2x8. Now, these ones have to be 2x8, so you've already used your 2x12s, right? 2x12s uh, have already been used. Or no, 2x11s. No, I've been inside for too long. 2x10s, if you had wanted to, you could have uh, making this inner one or that outer one a 2x10, and it'd be just fine. Okay, 
make a little L in each corner. I'm going to go pretty quickly. We got to, of course, do this twice. Uh, now, of course, if you want, you can go find sort of instructions. Uh oh, I don't think I have enough blue pins. That's kind of embarrassing. I dropped some on the floor earlier today. I wonder where those went. Well, I found one. Hmm. I'm going to need another blue pin. I know. I'm going to steal one of these. I don't know. Well, sad. I don't think my daughter will mind. We're not going to Worlds. I'm sure a lot of you have already taken your stuff apart. Ugh. What are you going to do? Anyway, I got my blue pen. Okay. All right. So anyway, we got we got to get two of these pieces with the with the L's. Uh, so one, two, three. Oh no! Are you kidding? Am I still short another blue pin? I sure am. I did not do a good job at counting out my parts. All right. We'll uh, well, well, take another one off of. Uh... So how many of you were completely wrecked? I mean, you went to your state championship. Maybe, maybe you didn't. Um, you went to some awesome other championships, and some of you even got your state championships canceled. Ouch! That's uh, that would hurt. Um, absolutely. I feel for you. <laughs> now I've got enough pins. Uh, we did get our all of our state championships up here in uh, the north. That was pretty great. I'm using my two by uh, one by two corner connectors now, and they're just snapping right on. Here, and I'm going to do that to both sides. Our uh, Michigan Elementary Vex IQ State Championship, it was amazing. It was awesome. I, I mean, I, I guess I, I can say that I was kind of the guy running it. This next step is a little bit weird. Um, this would be correct. Uh, there, there's a way to do it right and a way to do it wrong. Again, I'm going to pause there. Our state championship, though, was was really, really great. I, 120 teams, elementary and middle school, two days. We were at a uh, resort, which had a water park and a water slide. That was a blast. So I was really glad, I guess, that we got to do that um, for, the, for those kids because, well, I got to say, it, it complete, complete bummer. Again, it sucks. I also happen to mentor a first robotics high school team, and yep. And I happen to work with a group of elementary Odyssey of the Mind kids, and uh, they didn't go to states either. And I'm still inside. Nice thing about the North. Northern Michigan, I've got some great parks, a lot of beach, not many people. It's kind of nice. Anyway, let's continue on. All right. So lastly, we need to make some uh, sort of kickstands, if you will. Um, these guys are going to go underneath. Now, you would be tempted on the bottom side of your bumper to put it in the center hole, and that would be wrong. Uh, that would be wrong. Instead... Um, you see there actually there's gonna be a wire that's that's gonna be obnoxiously in the way so we'll actually just do that later all right but with your next piece uh, we're going to attach it check that out right there isn't that nice yeah that's, that's a good looking part anyway we got to do it to the other side also uh, be sure you don't put them on backwards I mean by backwards um, let's see I can't even figure out well that would clearly be backwards um, and this actually also would be backwards if you notice we got a nice flat edge on this side but on this side we kind of well we don't so that's that's definitely not not right um anyway do that twice all right so ooh, my table changed that's an interesting view huh I couldn't tell you why that camera angle changed. And the picture slowed down. That's weird. I'm watching my fingers in slow motion. Anyway, um, do that 
twice. I don't know if I like that. I heard this little GoPro camera beep. I feel trippy. I mean, I'm spitting it really nicely in my hand, but the GoPro is like lagging. Wow. Anyway, we are like almost done. Uh, at this point, I've got my, my brain and one of those bumpers, and you got these two, two small pins that are just sticking out. We're going to snap those in on either side. I'm then going to take my motors. I'm going to put the wires in here more just so that I have a place to uh, reference because notice the wires are coming up and away. I want to make sure they go up and away towards my brain because ultimately those wires are going to plug right into ports one, which is right there, port one. And of course, it's going to plug into port six, which is right yeah that that camera is really tripping i feel like it's just gone like all bubbly wow uh now back to those two kick stands underneath um yeah you gotta just stick them on there you'll notice on the back side of it uh you can't actually get it into the middle hole so that, that's kind of what i was talking about anyway oh look at that if you're like me, if you're like me, and I uh, forgot to put your battery in, this is a flaw design. X, bad job, bad job, Vex. Anyway, you can just uh, pop one side off pretty easily. Slide the battery right back in there, uh, and then the whole thing kind of snaps back together. When you've done it enough times, it's I don't know. You just kind of just kind of push, and things all fall back in line. And at this point. Um, it's done. So turn it on, power it up. I wonder if this is even the right remote. I don't even know. Oh, it seems to be good. Anyway, I'll run it and run. Again, don't drive your robots on the table. It'll make you cry. I hope you had some fun today. Um, I had a pretty good time and I will be back tomorrow because I've got nowhere else to go, at least through the first week of April. So we're going to do fun little projects like this. Uh, I don't know. If you're really interested, if you really want me to do like something more challenging, 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 uh, shoot me an info, info at uh, quirk, quirk, quirkmine. There it is, quirk, quirkmine.com. Uh, info at quirkmind.com would certainly get you don't need to include the space I mean that's just what I'm calling this this is my space so anyway um, and I could certainly talk you through some other ideas I've had a lot of time with kids um, elementary middle school high school um, university been to world many times uh, and well I, I just love this stuff because right now it's a good distraction have a wonderful rest of your day and go build something fun.